why might you be interested in an apprenticeship program? Well, I want to take you back a little while, a little longer than I care to share publicly. When I first became a Scrum Master, do you know what was out there to help us? Nothing, right? I came across this thing called Scrum, browsing the internet. I'd come from extreme programming, all right? And this thing called Scrum introduced the concept of a product owner, which was really powerful for the team that I was working in. And we thought, we'll give this a go. And I was nominated to be the Scrum Master. Why? Because I wasn't paying attention, probably. I mean, but when we looked around and we went and I said, what does this Scrum Master do? Okay, they serve the team. What does that mean? I was a coder. Like everybody else in the team, we wrote code for a living. What does a Scrum Master do? So I started scrabbling around. I'll be honest, I started going out on the internet, talking to people, reading things. There wasn't any one place to really go and learn what this thing meant, how to be a good Scrum Master. The Certified Scrum Master came along a few years later. I went and did that exam. I did this course, sorry. The exam was only just coming in. And it was revelatory. It really opened up my eyes I was an okay Scrum Master to that point. But here was somebody, a lovely lady called Jean Tabaker, um, who could explain it succinctly, that it was so different, so much more than what I thought it was. And that kick-started a whole nother round of learning and exploration of the world around me, trying to understand what is Agile, what is Scrum, what is a Scrum Master, how do we get the best from our teams? But even then, True experts in the field were few and far between. So I carried on. I took a lot more courses, some useful, most less so. I read an awful lot of books, some truly brilliant, most less so. Hey, a lot of articles, you'll get the idea. Hey, and I developed my practice through experimentation, through trying things out, getting things wrong, reflecting on it. And I think for me, that was a truly valuable experience because it built into me and my way of thinking, my way of being, this almost automatic reflexive response. When I lead a meeting, when I record a video, I'm gonna take time having a think afterwards. How could I be better? What did I learn from this? How can I improve? What will I do differently next time? But I had to do this the hard way. I had to put the hard miles in do a lot of work, make a lot of mistakes that I've already made and I want to share them with you. This is the point of an apprenticeship program. This is the point of any apprenticeship program from the hundreds of years, if not thousands of years, they've existed. Why do you join an apprenticeship program? To learn from people who've walked the path before you. What I want to be able to offer you, what I hope to give you, is a shortcut. I'm going to teach you about my mistakes. I'm going to explain where I went wrong, why I took those things, if you care to ask. Okay? So that you don't have to repeat those mistakes. You can go and make new mistakes. You can do things that I haven't done before. And, and this for me is really important. We can do it in a safe way. You can go away, you can try things out with your team, and you can come back and talk with the cohort, with me personally, if that's what it needs to be, to help you build that reflexive approach, to help you build your own path. We all walk a similar path, but they're each unique. And for me, this is really the power of any cohort-based program, any apprenticeship program, is you can learn from somebody like myself, somebody who has gone down this journey before, but you can learn from each other too. You've all got different teams, you've all got different organizations, different environments, different personalities. There's so many different things that what you tried here and it worked isn't necessarily gonna work here. And teasing out why is incredibly valuable. This is the point of an apprenticeship journey, right? Is we can learn together, we can grow together, we can develop together. I don't know everything. I don't want to ever believe I know everything. I am fascinating, I'm ex fascinating, fascinated. I am excited by learning. I want to learn from you. I want to hear how you've put things to practice, what's worked for you, what you've adapted, what you've compromised, and why. 
so that I can develop my own practice. I can become better. Just because I'm leading the cohort doesn't mean that I know everything. It means that I'm further along the journey and I'm willing to offer you the benefit of what I've learned from my mistakes and my successes. This for me is why people are interested and I hope you're interested in an apprenticeship programme. We can learn together. I can help you move along that path faster and you can help me continue to move along that path. Together, we can grow and develop as Scrum Masters.